You know, many people don't realize that Abercrombie & Fitch, this wonderful clothing store in all of the malls, was really um, a very uh, waspy um, sporting goods store many years ago. That's how it got its start. In fact, they were not just waspy, they were quite anti-Semitic. And Mr. Abercrombie had found out one day that someone in um, Human Resources had hired a Jew named Schwartz to work in the sporting goods, in the fishing department. He was incensed, and he ran down to the fishing uh, department to fire him. But he didn't do so because he, was, he saw Schwartz was in the middle of a sale. And being a good businessman and, and prudent, he did not want to disrupt the sale. So he overheard the following conversation. Schwartz saying to the customer, so that'll be three fish hooks, that's a uh, dollar fifty-nine. It's okay. So, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just got to tell you something. Fish hooks like this, you don't use for any line. You got to use a certain monofilament line to get this imported from, from China. It's a terrific line. And with normally this line, we sell it by the whole. Uh, we can sell this by the roll for about eleven ninety nine, but for you, your customer, you already bought the hooks, six ninety nine. All right, I'll take it. Don't go yet, because I got over here this line. You don't put just on any reel. I got a reel here made in Japan, but with Swiss ball bearings. This is a this is a three hundred dollar value. We'll give it to you for two fifty. I'll take it, but can I? You know, a reel like this, you can't just stick on any pole. We got here a pole with our flexing like this. It catches any fish. You'd never know. This pole is made for this reel because I really can't let you leave with this reel without this pole. It's, normally, this pole is $300, also 250 for you. I'll take it back. Wait a minute. You know, what are you going to do? You're going to go in the fresh water with waders because this is the way that you fish like this. And we got waders here. They'll put you all up here. You'll keep you covered from the water. And these waders are normally uh, $160, but we can go, uh, make a deal for 100 bucks. Look, you're a good customer already. Yes, I'll take them. Let me uh, wait. You know, the stuff that you're buying is nice if you're going to walk around the water, but there's no way to fish like in a boat. We got our boat on sale over here. This is our fiberglass beauty. Handmade, everything is but polished. Our terrific fishing boat. And this boat is normally $14,000. But you're a good customer. You've proven that already. Eleven ninety nine. it's yours. And you know, mister, I'll take it. You know, I want you to have this boat. But a boat like this, you don't put without a certain kind of motor. We got an engine here. This engine is from Germany. Every, every spark plug is handmade. And this, this uh, is all so it's about a $9,000 engine. $6,000 will wrap it up for you. You know what? I'll take it. Let me add you. It's all right. He writes it up. He pays him. The man leaves. And Abercrombie comes down and says, Mr. Schwartz, I want to tell you something. My name is Mr. Abercrombie. And I just saw the most remarkable bit of salesmanship I've ever seen in my 40 years in this business. Now, I came down here, quite frankly, to fire you. But after what I saw, I could never do so. Imagine, a man comes in here for three lousy fish hooks, and you sell him $43,000 worth of equipment. It's what kind of fish hooks? He came in for directions to Grand Central Station. 